Now, Major the League 10 Baseball. News Morning Original. New reporting, first at 6. Major League Baseball is working on a plan to save what's left of the 2020 season, and that's good news for more than just the fans, players, and owners. 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens looks at the impact the coronavirus has had on thousands of stadium workers at venues across San Diego. Padres fans know Neil Lenzen as Neil the Beer Man from his time selling craft beer in the Western Metal Supply Building. It's a nice uh, central location. Everybody was able to find me and uh, got to know people chatting over craft beer and Padre baseball. He's been doing it since the stadium opened in 2004. Says it's like a family, but as Petco sits empty because of the coronavirus, Neil the Beer Man has no beer to sell. All of a sudden, they take away your, your income and, and not only losing your job, but uh, look into the future as this is all playing out. We don't know what the future of our industry is as far as mass gatherings. Like thousands of concession workers around the country, Neil is using unemployment to provide for his family and two kids. The Padres, as well as every other MLB team, committed a million dollars to an employee fund, with 20% of that going to the companies that contract concession, janitor, and security workers, like Delaware North, which Neil works for. In a statement, the Padres said, We appreciate and value our game day employees and their excellent work throughout the course of the year, and we hope that this fund can provide some relief during this difficult time. It's a very tough slog, I would say. David Huerta is the president of the SEIU USWW Union, which represents about a third of the Padres game day workers. Huerta says the Padres have been one of the best in the bigs at helping their employees but worries about what could happen if sports, concerts, and other mass gatherings don't return soon. We're one stadium that we're talking about here. Um, you know, we could figure it out, but you're talking about thousands throughout the state and thousands more throughout the country. Even as sports come back, many will be without fans, like this weekend's NASCAR race. Neil says that's good for the games, but not the workers. Play baseball. Without fans in attendance, that's uh, on our end of things, doesn't mean much. We need people to sell hot dogs and beers and sodas to. It's making Lenzen and many others wonder if now may be the time to find a new career. We can't sit around forever. I mean, I've got kids to feed and going to have to move on. Kind of a tough position now. Jared Aarons, 10 News. And at his news conference yesterday, the governor did say sports venues may be able to reopen by June, but without fans. Virginia. Thank you, Jim.